Well, hello, all of my foodie lovers out there. It's David with Philippine American Couple with you. I want to share with you a great cookbook that I just bought. If you follow our channel, you know how much we love to cook, how much we love to eat, and how much we love to travel. I found, I wanted to learn a new cuisine, a new style of cooking this year. So I decided on Korean because we really enjoyed a lot of the Korean food we we had in uh, while we were overseas in the Philippines and some other places. So I thought to myself, I'd really like to try to make some. So I did a bunch of research. And this is uh, Emily Kim. Kim. She is commonly known as Manchi, which is a South Korean-born American YouTuber and author. She is notable for producing cooking videos centered around Korean cuisine. So she's a big time YouTube star and an author. And the New York Times even calls her the Korean Julia Childs. But here's what I like about this. As somebody who loves education and loves to learn, it's very important to me that when I buy things, I can learn from them. And what I love about her cookbook is the history she goes into about the ingredients, about the, the history of the foods. But more importantly, she actually gets in here and tells you personal, little personal stories, but she lets you know what to do with all these ingredients and what they are for, where to get them and how to use them. So shopping for Korean ingredients and kitchen wear. She, gets, she has a whole section on this. She's going to help me understand the different types of mushrooms and the Chinese yam and the ginkgo nuts, the green chilies, the Korean eggplant, the Korean pear. So she gives us an understanding of what this ingredient is, when to use it, and recipes that these ingredients are used in. And I really like this. Mung bean sprouts. I've become a huge fan of mung beans. I've never had mung bean sprouts, but I love mung bean. She gets into the different types of rice. The uh, sweet rice, the brown sweet rice. And remember, it's rice, not rices. So we got barley, the glutinous rice flour and sweet rice flour. Dried noodles, potato starch, soy sauces and fish sauces, black bean paste. One thing I didn't know until after reading her book was there are so many types of soy sauces. Some are darker and thicker. Uh, some have added flavors to it. And some are fermented longer. So it's quite interesting how many different types of soy sauces there are. I, I had no clue. Toasted sesame oil, uh, which is a great ingredient. I've used it a lot in, in, in um, Filipino cooking. The other thing I like is she gets in here and talks about the, the dried seed weed, how to use it, what it's for, your meat products, your canned products, your fish, the frozen goods that you can find at the Korean stores, you know, like the frozen chestnuts here. I didn't know what those was because I couldn't read Korean, but now I understand what that bag is. So that's very helpful. Alcohol, which uh, this is a fantastic alcohol, uh, Korean drink. We, we like it. But here's, here's what I really want you guys to understand about her cookbook and why I chose it. She doesn't assume that everybody knows what this white paddle is, that this is a rice scoop. And if you've been around Asian food, then you know what this is. But she doesn't make the assumption that we all know what a rice spoon is or what a mortar and pedestal is. I think that's fantastic. And it comes from her mindset of wanting to educate the love of her food to us. So she teaches us how to cook rice, the different ways to do rice, fluffy white rice, how to make this, which is great. We all think we know how to cook rice. But you'd be surprised. So she has a lot of great recipes. Everything from seafood to tofu 
to pork, to soups, to alcohol recipes, how to make your own Korean alcohol, miso soup, you name it, it's in here. So the recipes are fantastic. And I'm going to share with you the first um, dish I'm going to try to make out of her cookbook. Now, I'm going to do a separate video about this because I want to keep this one just real short for you guys. My first attempt is going to be soy butter pan grilled chicken. Should be pretty easy, straightforward. I think my wife will love it. It's partly why I'm making it. And it's a, I think it's going to be a really good beginner Korean course. And of course, you know, here it shows that the recipe continues on the next page. So make sure and understand that. But this is a real nice, simple Korean dish that my wife will love, I think. And I'll be able to make, hopefully, without messing it up too much. But guys, so stay tuned for the next video about the soy butter pan grilled chicken. And if you would, go give this lady some love for her teaching ability, her cooking style, and her recipes. Go watch some of her videos and or buy her cookbook. But uh, for me, here at Filipino America, the adventures of the Philippine American couple and cooking is an adventure. We thank you for taking your time to watch us. And once again, keep a cooking. Thanks, guys.